Hey guys, before we get started today, I have to show you my new toy. Woo! DJI Osmo Pocket 3. I just got this. It just came out. Now, those of you who've watched really closely, you know that the DJI Osmo Pocket 2 was the camera of choice whenever I was on a bicycle or a scooter or walking around in the White House. In fact, I have two of them because I use them so much, but they've been banged around, beat the heck, whatever. Now we have an Osmo Pocket 3. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Let's take a look at this and then let's go out and explore DC with it. Okay, so this just came out on Wednesday when I was at the White House doing the uh, state visit of the Australian Prime Minister. And I literally ran back into the press briefing room <laughs> after we were done with the first event and ordered it online. Now it has arrived. I'm very excited about this. Now, a lot of you have heard of GoPro. Not as so many of you have heard about DJI. DJI makes drones. Uh, they're most popular for drones. But they came out with this basically drone technology as sort of a thing that you can use walking around and filming without any bouncing and stuff like that. So we bought the Creative, you know, the Creator Pack, which has a few extra gadgets and doohickeys. That's the carrying case. What's in there? That's an empty box. Anyway, now it says it takes 16 minutes to charge this thing uh, for the first time. So we're going to be able to go out and film pretty quickly. But I wanted just to show some of you this because I know a lot of you are interested in my cameras. All righty. Well, that was a nice case. Okay, so that is the DJI Pocket 3. Look at that. You can turn it so you can shoot vertically or you can shoot horizontally. It's uh, pretty heavy. It's a little bit bigger than the Pocket 2. Uh, should be pretty cool. What else did we get? What other toys do we get? Uh, we got a battery pack and we got an external microphone. That's kind of cool. Oh, we got like a mini tripod. That'll be fun. And I don't know what that doohickey is. Another doohickey. And some cables and a wind mic and whatever. Anyway, let's go put this to use. But before we do that, let me tell you about the other new camera toy I bought. It's cool too. Okay guys, the other cool thing that I've just bought is an iPhone 15. Yeah, I bought another iPhone, well, whatever. But the iPhone 15 has a USB cable and that USB cable allows you to plug in an SSD drive. This is a two terabyte memory drive. That allows me to shoot in what's called ProRes log format. All right, ProRes log is a really high quality, doesn't lose anything uh, image format that lets me film stuff in amazing quality and coverage. In fact, a lot of the video you guys watched the other day from the White House was Pro Les Rog 4K 60 frames a second. The only downside is it takes up a lot of memory. For example, the videos that I shot at the White House the other day took up 300 gigabytes of data. 300 gigabytes of data for that 15 minute video I made you the other day. Anyway, you're going to see a lot more Pro Res Log and you're going to see a lot of DJI Osmo Pocket 3 in the next few weeks. Uh, if you have any questions about cameras, just drop me a line. Now let's get out and see what's going on in the city. Hey guys, good afternoon from the streets of Georgetown where I thought what better place to try out the new camera than the fall, autumn colors of all these trees in Georgetown. We're going to go down though and grab a bike so we can see a lot more of it and then we'll make, around, make our way around the city checking out a few things. It's a pretty quiet today. Uh, the Congress isn't doing anything. Uh, Biden has got a fundraiser tonight and then he's going to helicopter off to Delaware, but he's going from an army base. He's not going from the White House due to the uh, Australian Prime Minister's crap still all over the South Lawn. So I probably won't be able to cover the departure. Um, he'll be back, I think, Monday. We will cover that when it comes, but for now, let's go find a bike up at the campus of Georgetown University. See the kids on skateboards, you know, we're definitely kind of close to a campus. All right, just up this way. Leaves are everywhere here in Georgetown. Come on. It's a little too high. <laughs> and away we go. All right, we are mobile now. Let's spin around the circle real quick. 
Look at all the tourists taking a look at campus. And up here is the administration building, the Healy building. This is kind of the, I think the administrative head of campus. That's actually a dorm over there, if I recall. And then the library is down, down there at the end. The campus goes back for a couple blocks behind me, but it's all downhill. So let's just stay out here in the trendy touristy bits and then head back out into the city. Her chunk. Let's go for it. So on my right up here is Holy Trinity Church. This is where Joe Biden goes to church when he's in town on a Sunday or Saturday of the weekend. He's not going to be around this weekend, so we won't be staking that out. Is that a red maple? Yeah. That's the tsunami wall. Someone painted a giant artwork on that mall. That pink place up there is Call Your Mother Bagels. That's one of the top 10 bagel places in the country. Oh, there's a girl walking, so he's gonna let me go. All right, let's get onto these cobblestone streets and test the stabilization of this camera. Now for me, it's bumpy, but for you guys, it should be pretty mellow. It's gonna be noisy. I hate riding on these. These are the old uh, trolley tracks there's two streets here in Georgetown that still have the trolley tracks, even though the trolleys don't run here anymore. That guy's gonna let me go. Now, up here on the left is a house from the movie The Man with One Red Shoe. Yeah, that house right there, The Man with One Red Shoe, starring Tom Hanks, Carrie Fisher, and Jim Belushi, was filmed in that house. Now, the more recent man with one red shoe was an escapee from George Washington University who escaped a murder as a murder suspect beat up a cop, ran away wearing one red shoe. Uh, the other red shoe was found. You saw that in my video that I filmed. And that guy was just caught yesterday after about seven weeks on the lam. Uh, fugitive task force chased him down and grabbed him out in Prince George's County. Good work by the cops. Look at these trees. Okay, let's keep going. Pretty smooth, I think. Of course, I did a pretty good job balancing on the rail, if I don't say so myself. All right, let's go into the Georgetown. If you ever saw the movie, whoa, it just ran over a bottle. I hope to God that was a bottle. Now, if you ever saw the movie Dave, which was with Kevin Klein, a political comedy in which he pretended to be the president of the United States, he was a lookalike, it was filmed in this building right here. This was Dave's office. He was a uh, job employment guy he got people jobs and then he was hired to be basically a stand-in for the president that was filmed right there in that movie all right that's a good movie by the way sigourney weaver that's who's in it she plays the first lady okay up here on the right is martin's tavern that's where john f kennedy supposedly wrote the inaugural address but it is also where he proposed to jacqueline bouvier and that's where she became jackie kennedy let's cut back this side street here Get out of the traffic a bit. Someone put up the other day that Washington, D.C. does more Halloween decorations than they do Christmas decorations. And judging from this street, that's pretty darn true. I mean, just about every house is decked out for Halloween. That's pretty crazy. Let's go down the next block. Now, some of you ask, Penguin, you run through the stop signs. What are you doing? Stop signs are considered yield signs for bicycles. We have what's called Idaho stop law. We just have to yield. If it's safe to go through, we can go through without stopping. So before you fill my comments with, you read a stop sign, just understand I'm obeying the law in DC, yeah? Wow, that's a big old flag they got up there. This house on the right was Benjamin Bradley's house, the editor of the Washington Post during the time of all the president's men, Nixon and the Pentagon Papers. I hear a helicopter coming. I wonder which one it is. Oh, it's on my right. It's the VH-92. VH-92 coming up straight ahead. Will we see it? There it is. The new Marine One. Eventually, maybe, kind of. All righty. All right, this is Love Park. 
down here on the edge of Georgetown overlooking Rock Creek Park, which is just down to my left. Down along here on Love Park is this famous yellow house up here. So this yellow house here just recently renovated and sold for about $3 million, I think. This was Julia Child's first house when Julia Child was working as a uh, stenographer, typist at the OSS, the precursor to the CIA. That's where she lived, living the uh, young and single in D.C. kind of lifestyle. She eventually went overseas with the OSS slash CIA. There she met a guy named Childs and they were married. And then she became a famous chef, or cook, I don't know what you call her. You call her a chef, cook, a television celebrity cook. All right, let's go down this street. Okay, we've just figured out how to operate some more gadgets on this phone, this device, the Osmo Pocket. I've used the other ones pretty much every day for the last three years. So it's a bit of an adjustment having a new one. Oh, let's see what the canal looks like. It's pretty. This is the CNO Canal. It runs up basically to the Pennsylvania line. It used to be the main highway between Washington, D.C. and the farms in Pennsylvania, with boats coming down here 24 hours a day, basically. Now it's just a tourist path. It's a great hiking trail. Maybe we'll go up to uh, Great Falls this week because, you know, it's going to be absolutely gorgeous up there with all the trees changing color. And eh, we'll think about doing that, yeah? All right, let's just keep going down this way. And then, of course, the uh, Iceland, not Iceland, Sweden, and uh, the Norwegians have an office in this as well. Well, I think Norway is technically moving their embassy up to where things... <gasps> Do you know what this is? It's ice skating time. It's ice skating time. They brought out the ice skating freezing things to turn the fountain into an ice skating rink. Yeah, winter is upon us, my friends. Winter is coming. What a glorious day. It's actually quite warm right now. It's in the 70s. Uh, now rowing. All right, let's go goof off some more. Okay, we are back in action here. Uh, let's see if we can get this going. Ugh. All right, we're back in action now. We've got the camera running. There's some boats about to go out. The crews are showing up to go for their afternoon rowing. We're going to ride down along the waterfront, though. It should be pretty over here by the Watergate Hotel and Conference Center and whatever they call it. Offices, condos, retail, etc. Oh yeah, so you see these big signs up here? The Marine Corps Marathon is this weekend. We're gonna have Marines all along this road as thousands, tens of thousands of runners. I think it's 14,000 people are gonna take part in the Marine Corps Marathon tomorrow or Sunday. And we'll cut down to the water's edge and take a look over the edge. Pretty cool day. Let's pass all these tourists though. I think they're waving to the planes. Yeah, good point. Out there you see DC Harbor Patrol, DC Police Department boat tasked with keeping the river safe. The water, the district, oh my gosh, V-22 Osprey, V-22 Osprey. Sweet.
22 Ospreys of HMX-1, the President's Marine Helicopter Squadron. They, or whatever, I don't know the squadron, but they're the ones that fly the President and his staff. They're uh, obviously coming down here, probably from a preset up in Wilmington, Delaware, where they took some Secret Service or media guys. Oh, look at all the geese. Let's go check out the geese real quick. So many geese. Okay, let's make our way back across the road without getting killed. Okay, we're moving again. Hmm, a couple of cops over here. Wonder if there's trouble. Or if they're just blocking a lane of traffic for the hell of it. Yeah, there's also their little uh, gator over here. All right, let's check it out. Let's see if we can find them. So there's Lincoln Memorial and all the construction areas over here as they're fixing underneath. And out here, oh, there's a protest. Looks like a Israel protest. This is uh, bring the hostages home. I just want to request everyone that is on the side, if you can please uh, take your space and your spot up on the steps, and not stand on the side. Right. Let's swing around the bottom, see what it looks like. It looks like they've got flowers out here for all the missing hostages in Gaza. Bring them home now, that's what the signs say. Oh, it's a, it's a dinner. It's a dinner for the hostages who haven't come back. Okay, we're down by the World War II Memorial now. They still have the fountains going. Don't know much how long that's going to last. And you can look down the other way. Oh. Sorry. 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 No worries. A little kid decided to walk in front of me as I was narrating. I was monologuing. I just ran through a bunch of bugs. All right, let's swing up by the White House and then we'll swing back into Georgetown because I need to eat something quickly. So Friday rush hour and the food trucks decide to park on the one road out of town, taking away a whole lane of traffic because that's just what they like to do. How annoying. This is when people really get mad at the food trucks. When they, that, there's absolutely no parking, no stopping a lot of there. Oh, look at this, no more grass here. Yeah, they've ripped up all the sod on this side of the Washington Monument. I guess it's going to be replaced. I'm gonna get that done. What is it? It's almost November. Are we gonna have to look at dirt all winter long? Ugh. That would be sus. Yeah, maybe. Oh. Hey. I guess the park is still open. Okay. Just the entrance down there is closed. Yeah, well, we'll go out in the park for a bit. Fall foliage out here. We have a CDU team out here too. Hmm. Wonder if there's a protest plant. They still have the Australian flags up. I guess they'll clear them up eventually. Maybe this weekend. So Pennsylvania Avenue is already closed, but the park is still open, but that'll close uh, when they decide to do the departure. You can see the press vans showing up over there on the right. Those are the media vans for tonight's motorcade. Off to a, uh, off to a fundraiser, actually. He's gonna be out of somebody's rich guy's house making money for his campaign.
Uh, motorcycles haven't even shown up, so it's still a ways away. All right, let's bail. So this building being renovated on my left is the National Geographic Society. Yeah, the magazine, the big yellow magazine you guys are all familiar with. National Geographic headquarters is right here, though they do have offices out in Virginia as well. They're uh, remodeling their old headquarters and fixing up their museum, which was kind of a cool museum. Even though I guess they've done away with the print magazine, or have they? They're talking about it. One more car. All right. So that's their main headquarter building over there, the new modern one. But they have the old one over here with some sort of weird 1980s style edition. Hey, hey, bike lane, we're happy. A little bit safer. All right, we are down on Amazon Mary Street, and this will take us all the way into Georgetown in about 15 blocks or so. Let's go back to our car. Alrighty, we are back in Georgetown where the trees are just so beautiful. Let's go on a couple blocks up here. Just take a look at the colors. Then we'll go to my kids' soccer game. <laughs> o Street. I used to live on O Street. Before and after law school, I lived. I lived on one side of the street before law school, and then moved back here and lived on the other side of the street after law school. Kind of wild. Medical helicopter. Let's keep going up this way. So lovely. All right, let's get in the lane here. So far, so good. So bumpy. Yeah. Eh, we're gonna have to sidewalk at too many cars. Back in the road again, just before the cobblestones come to an end. Okay guys, that is Friday in Washington, D.C. It's, I know, pretty boring. But uh, I thought it was a good test for my new camera. You're going to see a lot more of the Osmo Pocket 3. And uh, of course the iPhone will be using that as well. Thanks a lot for watching. I will be around at least one time this weekend and we'll be back next week with all the excitement of Washington. Bye-bye.